We're going to talk a little bit more about plants and we're going to talk in detail about the structure of plants. So vascular plants have um, three different types of tissues. They have dermal tissue, they have vascular tissue, and they have ground tissue. So dermal is another word for skin or outer layer. So that's going to be the outer layer of the plant. Vascular means that transport system. So that's going to be the way it gets water and nutrients throughout the plant. And ground just means the tissue that makes up the rest of the plant. So dermal tissue is the outside of the plant's body. This is, um, this is all of the outside of the body. So whether it's the stem or the leaves, um, they, they have this outer layer called dermal tissue. And one of the most important parts of that dermal tissue is called stomata. And stomata are openings that are on the surface of the leaves. So it, when we look at leaves under the microscope, we'll see these little openings. And this white part represents the opening in this cell. And that's called the stomat or stomata. For plural is stomata and stomat is um, singular. And the stomata have these guard cells around them, okay? And these guard cells will open and close depending on what the conditions are. So if, um, let's say that it's morning in Arizona and it's not too hot yet and there's plenty of sunlight, but it's, it's still a little bit moist, not too terribly dry yet, these stomata are going to be open okay um, and they're going to be allowing the plant to release moisture into the atmosphere having this open stomata is one of the ways that the plant is able to pull uh, water up through its roots okay so when these are open the plant is doing what's called transpiration but as it gets closer to afternoon and it's really hot outside and the plant is in danger of drying out, these guard cells here, they will close. And that way they're not allowing that moisture to escape from the plant. Stomata also close at night. They will close up um, and that is because the plant is not doing, it's not using photosynthesis at night and so the leaves don't need as much water. So transport tissue, we have two different types of transport tissue. The first one is xylem and xylem conducts water throughout the plant. Now remember these transport tissues, these are, this is the vascular system. So you have a plant stem here and you'll have these really narrow tubes running through the plant. And so that would be the transport tissue. So it, it's almost like a little tube running with inside the plant. Um, and so the xylem transports water and the phloem transports the nutrients. And this is a cross section of, um, of a stem right here. And you'll see that these look a little bit different. So these are the phloem cells of the transport system. And these big open ones are the xylem and the water flows up through the xylem. Now in woody plants, so your trees and shrubs and things like that, the xylem makes up the bulk of that material that's inside the tree. But we also have ground tissue and ground tissue is in non woody plants. So this is going to be, you know, your flowers and your um, garden plants and things like that. It has ground tissue. So if you look at the celery stalk, you can see these little dots right here. These are the xylem and the phloem. But in here, this white part, this is ground tissue. So this just makes up the rest of the um, the plant material and ground tissue is really there to protect the xylem and the phloem. And plants also have roots and roots do three things. They anchor the plant, 
They absorb water and nutrients, and they also store some nutrients. And we have two different types of root systems. So we have the tap root system. So this one right here would be a tap root. This is what you might see on a carrot. They would be dicots, and they develop just one main root. And then we also have what's called um, a fibrous root. So this over here would be fibrous. And these um, monocots develop fibrous roots. And the way to tell the difference really is that if you can see one main root coming off of this plant, you know it's a tap root. If you can't really discern that there is one main root, then you know it's a fibrous root. Then the stem is an important part of the plant. Stems, they support the leaves and they house the vascular tissue. They basically are what allow the plant to grow big and tall. And um, so the stem can be different on different plants. You might have a woody stem. You might have um, a stem that's nice and green and soft and so has more of the ground tissue. And then the leaves of the plant are um, extremely important to the plant because that's the photosynthetic organ. That's where the photosynthesis happens. But the leaf is made up of two different parts. So the flattened portion is called the blade. And so this big flat portion is the blade. And then the petiole is the little stem that comes off of the blade. Okay, so this is not the stem of the plant, but this is the stem of the leaf. And we have also what we call leaflets. So these are modified leaves. You'll see this one, you see the petiole right here comes off of the main stem, but instead of having one leaf on the petiole, you have multiple leaves, and those are called leaflets. And then we have some modified leaves. So these are adaptations that plants have made. These modified leaves, um, for example, on cacti, these are spines. And spines are actually modified leaves, and they're modified to protect the cactus. And water lilies have modified leaves. They, um, they're in contact with the water but they're also in contact with the air. And so they're modified um, to still use photosynthesis, but be in the water. And then we have um, a modified leaf here where this one is modified to take in organic nutrients from animals. So it basically captures the animal and digests it. And so it does photosynthesis too. We can tell that because it's green, but it also is more of a heterotroph because it will absorb organisms. All right, so taking a closer look at the seeds of the plant, this is um, an extremely important part of the plant and seeds um, can be monocot or dicot. Um, if they're angiosperms, but then we also have the seeds of gymnosperms, and the seeds have particular parts. So in the gymnosperm, you have the embryonic root, and you have the cotyledons, which cotyledon means first seed leaf. Um, the embryo is the fertilized egg, so that's going to be the new plant once this plant um, sprouts and germinates. It has a seed coat that protects that embryo. And then um, gymnosperms tend to have uh, an adaptation. This particular one is called a wing. So this is on a pine seed. And, and so this allows it to be dispersed by air or wind. So then we have the monocot and the dicot. And the monocot and the dicot, they have the embryonic leaves. So you can see these here. When you actually look at a bean seed, you'll notice these are white, and that's because um, within the seed, they're not doing photosynthesis yet, so 
They are not green, they're not reflecting that band of light, but they're white in, within the seed. They have an embryonic root, which is going to um, help the plant take hold. The endosperm is what the plant will use to uh, basically feed off of until it germinates or sprouts. And then, be, and then the seeds also have um, a seed coat. So it has that layer of protection around the seed. So seed germination is when that sprout breaks through from the seed and starts to grow. And so there's a couple of different ways that this happens. In a dicot, you'll have this embryonic root right here and it will, it will come out first and grow down. And then it has a little hook right here. And then this cotyledon, this first seed leaf will break out of the seed coat and you'll notice it just leaves that seed coat behind. And so then you have the root system, you have the stem, and if you ever look at a very young plant that is basically just germinated, you can still see those little cotyledons on the side, but then you see the development of leaves towards the top. Now with a monocot, you'll have this um, embryonic root that starts to grow downwards and you have the embryonic shoot that goes up and the shoot is just that first part that breaks out of the cell we call that a shoot okay um, and then here you see the larger root system that's developing you can also see this sheath and this sheath is basically just protecting that first leaf 